Alrighty, let's get into it. Part five. Hello, hello. Back with the fool. Metroid fool. Gaming. Um, ba ba ba. Everything looks good. Funny that our RTA is double our in-game time. Uh, so last we left off was uh, a few days ago at this point, but uh, we got Wave Beam. We got Wave Beam. Look at it. Wave Beam. And there was a nice door over there. Uh, so, my theory is that we have to go back to um, Magmore now. Or not Magmore. Um, Hydrana. That's the one. We got supers. We got wave beam. We can do a ruined courtyard now. Oops. So that's where we're going to go. Ah, fun little ride. It's nice to not have to play the game. <laughs> trying to think if I saw any other wave doors. But I don't think there were any. So, Rune Courtyard is my only guess. Which means that I'm going to have to do some Magmore shenanigans. I wonder if there's a way to get over there. Hmm. Questions for later. Where? Oh, I'm blind. warm-ups, so my movement's going to be subpar. So Magmar was actually in a uh, freaking crash site, so. I'm not excited to have to go through Monitor Station again. Might just end up like boosting through it. Oh, if I would have morphed earlier, that would have been it. harder on myself? Probably. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I didn't morph soon enough again. I believed. I had too much faith. Oh, just realizing what my, uh, things up. <laughs> the 
listen, I'm feeling good. I can I can spend my time here. And not feel bad about it. Good. Hm. You know you can get an end stun morph there. Didn't have the right angle. Seems we're out of practice for this. Letting go boost like way too early, I think. And I'm not getting the angle up and around, which is annoying. Should be enough. Fine. <laughs> now for this. Probably just end up doing the bomb jump. Although I suck at bomb jumps. I don't know why I think I can do this any easier than just... <laughs> Alright, screw it. Normal gameplay. Toaster's not even messing with me right now. Oh yeah, I should bring it up since uh, last episode was kind of a, a rough one on me. Um, just wanted to say that I am very much enjoying this. Even with the, uh, the difficult sections that uh, test my patience. My very limited patience, apparently. Uh, I am very much enjoying this, and will be beating this. And so, don't let my frustration think that I'm not having a good time. I'm very much ha enjoying this new experience. I gotta remember to take a lock onto one of these puffers and dash around. Looks like I got boost, but could be going faster. scuffed setup that I don't remember at all.
Air brakes. Now into this heck hole. Try at least I have um, Ow. <laughs> what, what, what happened there? Alright, I learned my lesson there. Oh, and I didn't I didn't save, did I? Hmm. Did I save in Magmore? I did. Okay, thank god. Okay. Thought I'd try something, but what was that bomb jump? That was strange, to say the least. First death of the episode. Getting it out of the way early. So clearly boosting for there is superior in this instance when I have to like turn sideways like that. was not the intended solution, but it's the only one I actually figured out, so... So we're sticking with it. Getting 
impatient already. It's not good. just want to get back to Ventrata. I still wish I had that watery hall E-tank. Gotta wonder what next progression is going to be. We're heading into labs, or at least what I think is labs. The doors could have, or the docks could of course be changed. Where you guys come from? Do I have any more tools to like make this easier on myself? Can't I just dash to it at that angle? <sighs> Not a great start. I'm also feeling pretty rusty right now after a few days of being away. Look, we've got wave beam. It doesn't matter. We have wave beam. See? Just gotta do that. Why didn't I do that the first time? Get our health drops here. Get one health drop. Thank you, puffers. Puffer to there. It was Puffer to there. Whew. I'm not 
going to bother with the quick dash because I'm going to panic and screw it up. So we will take the long way. We'll kill every enemy in our way because it will bump me off. Huzzah! Back to Fendrana. A little early on that dash. Okay. What's going on? Was this... Was this always underwater? <laughs> I generally can't remember now. Pretty sure. That sounds right. I wonder if you could, like, do some shenanigans there. Not worth exploring. This up there, I don't remember how that connects. Not my problem. No more me morphing, I gotta kill these guys. God, these things are annoying. What an annoying room. morphing through the doorways and not learning my lesson. This. Okay. Really need to look up faster. Oh, I can't wait to find space jump boots. Probably like last progression though. Oops. So I gotta dash and then hold on to the lock on. I don't have to lock on and then, uh, what's it called? And then wait for the dash. Just my eye. It's annoying. Okay. There. Yay! Boosting! that was weak to something. Just wanted to make sure you didn't edit the weaknesses. Oof. It was a lot of 
health. <laughs> Where'd all my speed go? I wonder if there's a way to like preserve player state through these randomized transitions. I guess it wouldn't help for things like that that like need to morph you. So I believe this is the direction I need to go. flashing cutscene this time. Nice. Oh, I forgot to kill them. Bats. That's a nice boost. Wonderful. Uh, the save is over here. Alright, what am I in store for here? Oh, is that a phase on the lead up there? So, gotta imagine I can maybe kill at least the Shadow Pirate. Whoa! What's up with the Mega Floaty Jump? ceiling Oh, wow, he shot a missile at me, a uh, grenade. A jerk. Do 
what is going on with this jump? It's ludicrous. I'm feeling rather ill prepared for this. Drop an ultra, right? Hey, stop it. You drop an ultra, right? No? Oh my god, this is... This jump is silly. It is not helpful in the least. Yeah, I figured the uh, the elite pirates here were gonna show up. That's a fairly safe guess. I don't like that I lost both my E tanks though. This is already open. Okay. Okay, so we gotta take it pretty slow through here, because this is very different. Oh my god, that went so fast! Holy crap! Why is that one so fast? If I just let them go, will they... Eh. That's funny. Did his grenade get stuck in the ceiling? Drop an ultra. Like, I know it wants me to kill these things. Screw you, Metroid. But that one run off too. fall down somewhere? Wasn't there another one? Hold on, I'm getting lit up with pings all of a sudden. Uh oh. One second. One second.
being pinged for speed gaming shenanigans. And I would like to... I would like to help them out. Um, editor, cut this out of the video. Do. In the meantime, we can think about what I need to do to open that gate. Do I have to scan something? Do I have to shoot something? But uh, I'm going to have to be cautious with the rest of my health here. Like, we have been getting lit up by these pirates. Uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long. Sorry for the delay. I shouldn't be doing both, but I got pinged a bunch, so I'm trying to be trying to be helpful and do my my duties that I signed up for. Someone else could handle it, but eh. Shame on me for being helpful, I guess. Instead of dedicated to the craft. Is there anything else that I can do here to help out? Sorry, it should only be like a couple more minutes. I can click one button. Okay, uh, it seems that things are are moving. Let me get moving. I'll watch it in the corner of my eye to make sure that things are improving. Oh, the jumps, man. Dude, these things are scaring the crap out of me. S 
stop. Wow, four to five missiles. Also, what is going on here? Thing didn't just didn't explode. Uh, I'm missing something. Did I miss a box? Okay, this jump, man. Oh, my game audio is not running again. There we go. Uh, sorry for the wait. Is there something in the pit? This massive pit in this room for no reason? None of these do it? God, these jumps, man. These jumps. I'm assuming this isn't the puzzle, but... scan these things when they're in the air? Weird. On. Is this actually like it? <laughs> Woo! This is fun. Never mind the puzzle. I'm doing this now. feeling like if I touch that I'm gonna explode Dozen issues. Okay, let's hope that someone can help them out. I've I've pinged for additional help. I'm outside of my scope now. 
Uh, okay. What to do? Wave beam? This is where I sh definitely had to go, right? It's gotta be like kill all the enemies, right? Did I mix, miss a box somewhere? So that's a thing. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is that? What's the strat there? And why do they do so much damage? Missiles, please. really wanted to like trigger half the pirates there instead of whatever the heck this is dude he hates that door Stop it. Do I even need to kill these guys? How many of these guys do I need to kill? Just checking in case the door unlocks. Put your hand down. Are you immune in the backpack? Have you, like, not seen me yet? Okay, wow, I'm not excited for the next room. We have much, much more health going into it though. You're welcome. 
welcome for the thrilling content. Drop me missiles, please. This is the strat. We're just gonna be a uh, scaredy cat and hide in the door. Oh, okay. Good to know that charge beam works on that. I wouldn't think it was weird if you like ran out of ammo and that was your only logical way to do it. Might as well just release some more bad guys, right? What was that corpse doing in the background there? Okay, clean. Clean so far. hide anywhere. Yes, I plan on hiding if I can do so. Haha. -ha. Whoa, what the heck happened there? Is this what is this? this weird panic there use a lot of ammo but I think we did well. Thank God I can do this. Now that I'm ready for it. Oh boy, okay. Couple more here. Oh, sick! I forgot that the... Metroids would help me out. Help me out, buddy! Help me out! Thank you for the assists, Metroid. Okay. What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh. This right here. The doors have been unlocked. Fantastic. Ugh, now what? Okay, I gotta remember which way this actually, like, opens up. It's this way. I always look the wrong way. Glad to be getting some missiles. Because what's... what's gonna be up ahead?
So I have... Floaty jump. Let's actually land on the thing now. It's pretty cool. I'm guessing I don't need to do the puzzle because I can just jump. this door out. Oh, it's a save. Fantastic. Beautiful. Sorry, I've been so focused on the combat I haven't been chatting much, but anyways. Let's just sneak around here. We can use this pipe to make this a lot easier. Yay! Oh, surprised there wasn't anything to do with uh, activating the puzzle, but I'm cool with it. Oops. Wow, look at that. Rewarded. Drops. So, do you think I'll be able to do the, the fight skip? this can I like cling to walls oh there we go is there a lower platform somewhere yep is there a slope somewhere can I start at the back spot back there. Oh, am I blind? Did I just totally miss this one the first time I was looking? Definitely an interesting way of climbing this room. Oh boy, what do you have for me? One fight skip. Oh no. Oh no. Go down. Yes. Haha. -ha. Wait, why could I morph there the first time? I don't get that at all. Okay, well. There's an artifact there. Is the fight trigger on this side? not. So can I... So what's stopping me from just jumping? Shooting this. Tad confused about this room and what the purpose of it is. <laughs> Woo! Okay, well. Yep. 
pirates. Something. No. See you later, pirates. I got my own jetpack. I did it, I jumped again. Yeah, I'm not sure I get the gimmick of this. Oh, hello. More pirates. You saw me. That's unfortunate. Oh well. We'll just retreat to the safety of the sky. Once again. Ultra energy there. <laughs> I accidentally. Okay. Well, where did ultra energy go? Somewhere up there. Nice. odd room. Okay, it looks like the pirates infinitely respawn. I'm, I'm not understanding what the purpose of the gimmick is. Okay, sure. I suppose that that was indeed a fight. Any more of these I can blow up? I can go back and save, can't I? go do that. Hey Jay, welcome in. Fool, we're making our way through labs. Playing Fool, randomly helping with speed gaming in the background because I got ping for it. <laughs> Ow, wow, good aim on the pirate. on the second pass layer. Please don't be the fight again. Thank god. Same kind of gimmick on this side? Okay. Yeah, not really sure what that fight was about. 
guess I should be farming these guys for some missiles. No shoes, no booties. Jesus. How? Jeez. Yeah, so my strat for all these rooms has just been to hide out in the doorway until I clear out enough enemies. Man, room broke. Oh, crap. Do I reset? I, s I just saved. Nope, it's too late. It's too late. So what am I, I'm just supposed to walk in? I'm guessing. And because I cheesed it. It went all wonky. <sighs> oh, really? Weird. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not. So one So so one doesn't work and one does. That's what he's getting at. So if it doesn't work for me, then it should theoretically work for you guys. If that is indeed the issue. Should I just try like going into the room faster? Ah, uh, the good camera. Just YOLO the room and get obliterated by that little pirate. Alright. I know how to hit things at SAP. Let's go. What's he doing in there? His booty's jiggling. Oh, I can't retreat anymore. God. Glass breaks. Rip. <laughs> I hate when I jump through invisible glass and die. More pirates in boxes? No? <coughs> Shocking. Ow. This just reflects and hurts me. All right, what now? Let me continue breaking boxes because I assume bad stuff's gonna happen. 
I notice there's a turret here all of a sudden. Oh, what? What happened there? my audio weird? It's like coming out the sides. Yeah, man. Can I just jump straight to it? So I'm on whatever ledge I was on before. Why was that so difficult? Is just unlocked. Okay, we got health. We got missiles. Show me what you got. Gravity engine? What? I'm turning it on. Okay. The gravity engine. Oh, and you did. I wanted to check. You, you renamed the room. Look at that. That's cool. Good job. So I was going to check. You know what? Let's just go ahead and kill these real quick. <laughs> the movement is so wonky in here. Ow. Got blasted. Give a real, uh, you fixed it vibe. Oh, I see. Now I got regular movement again. Yippee. Want that E tank. I can't reach that. There's no way I can reach that, right? There is. Oh, I just keep falling farther and farther down. Alright, I'm gonna have to come out of here anyways, any so I might as well do something. 
can just bomb jump this probably. Okay. Artifact of Spirit acquired. The simplest thing is just going to go be this. <laughs> oh. And this is why we're now almost 12 hours into this. God, I suck at bomb jumps. Oh. Give me space jump boots. Don't even give me space jump boots. Just give me not bomb jumps. This is here. More bomb jumps, huh? It's a nice flat surface, I guess. I can actually need to ladder this one. Gonna have a funny haha -ha that like pushes me out. Wants me to do something else. I'm waiting for it. Waiting them for there to be some kind of force trigger here. Oh, very kind. So I guess I'm not getting that E tank then. That's rather unfortunate. <gasps> I did not see this here. Wow, that was, was actually pretty painless. Now I could go out of bounds here and get this missile, but then I'd be stuck. Wait, beam. Where, where transport? All right. Well, this game's going to keep getting worse as I keep avoiding E-Tanks, so that's kind of rough. He's 
it's been squished. What the hell is this all about? So wide. I can't tell if it's going to be like impossible to hit Thardis like this. See, there's platforms up, and there's a bunch of shit going on out around here. This is locked. Hey. Ha. Huh. Okay. scan this, but I'm wondering if it's like an insta-kill switch. It'd be really convenient if there was a way to like UBJ for this. Chucking rocks at me. Okay, step one complete. That's where I gotta dash to. I don't know what the timing's gonna be on that. And the fact that it goes away so quickly. We got time, we got time. Is there any way to know when that's up? Well, thank you. At least you didn't make getting back up a pain in the butt. supposed to know if it's there I, I like it doesn't seem to have like a consistent cycle okay so when I'm out it's there when I'm in it's there this time when I'm out it's not there Seems like almost like a two cycle thing. Maybe I'm not supposed to do that. Maybe this is for something later. 
there are a bunch of these. Can I do this cheese, I wonder? How did we get to do this before? <laughs> the rocks look so tiny. Ha ha ha! Fantastic! Stop. Oh, jerk. Oh, okay. I get it now. It's, it's Powerbomb Guardian, isn't it? Ow! Oh, it's rolling! Does this even help me? Had the check. So this one seems to be the easiest from initial observation. Okay, I was able to force it last time, so I just thought I'd give it a shot again. be a thing, eh? I might have to, like, mute and put some, like, more calming music on, because this is going to get very aggressive over the next hour or two that I'm here. Oh, bullshit, I was so in that space. I at least get the gimmick of this one. Even if I'm not very good at it. You stop. I gotta assume that you actually can't kill Thardis here, and like you need to do these puzzles. And like part of the challenge is avoiding the rocks. Because if it wasn't, I gotta assume this would be much easier. Yo, these are some heat seeking rocks though, man. So does it just hurt if you touch them, not if they like actually spawn in you? It does appear to be that way. Okay, noted. Because I've been trying to like touch these things. Oh boy. seem to hurt you. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and do this real quick.
This is so much better. <laughs> even if it's not, even if I still get bullied by these rocks, it's... almost there on this one. I can see this taking a few more tries though. I like this though. It's like, yeah, like I said, it's like Powerbomb Guardian times 10, but like, you know, since we can't boost off spider tracks yet. get the order that they go in but like that angle is really gross I don't really know if I'm supposed to be lining it up with anything and at this point I'm just like throwing attempts at it rather than like trying to be skillful too late on that. I got a good drop, though. a little bit so that uh, I don't accidentally, accidentally knock myself off. I'm just glad that I'm not like taking damage while doing this. Like I think the rocks only do like a few so that helps a lot. If it was like as much as Flogger was dealing I would be having issues this isn't bad. Uh, this will keep me much saner. I say until the risk of dying suddenly appears from somewhere. Can I bomb and stay on the track? I can. But uh, it's hard to time that out. But good to know. silly. I don't know what happened with my bomb there. 
One issue that I'm noticing though is my uh, index finger is starting to bug me from holding uh, the trigger down. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, I'm just gonna have to take like long breaks during this fight because uh, I can see myself uh, feeling hurt. Ugh. I'm glad that I do know the trick to that one other one as well. Um, I gotta turn this music down just like a little bit. It's really loud to me, so I can imagine it's seems loud on the stream as well. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, because I know that standable that Sam found, um, that one's actually like really easy. I didn't have to work for that puzzle at all. So I just need to like find out what the rest of it is. Oh my god, I got bullied hard there. thing is I can just like farm health off these you can I you could probably hear it in my voice if you've stuck around for the other episodes that uh, I'm much less uh, concerned with this one I am seeing some crazy stuff happen over there though which is not uh, I'm probably not prepared for but so far so good Okay, let's go for this one. And yeah, I know you're talking about the music, but uh, it's just like, st it was so aggressive, the fight music, that like an hour of that would have drove me insane. I don't actually remember like the trick to this. I'm pretty sure it was just hold up, but the camera seems to be messing with me now. We got it once. No. Nope. I didn't have to like Oh, was it was it a bomb jump and then a unmorph? That seems right. I remember being able to do that uh bombless though, so. There is some method. Okay, thank you, Thardis, for getting me while you're up there. Okay, so... Is this one actually a shortcut? Like I'm trying to find out where the weak point is. Because obviously there's this, which gets you over here. So it doesn't look like I really skipped that much, unless this part's a pain in the ass. Because what, we've got a bomb slot over there, got one there. Just gonna grab some health. game. I don't know what it was doing there, but... Oh, 
Oh, I could have pulled a sneaky one. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, I, I almost had it. What? what? Huh? <sighs> okay, well that was almost something. Yeah, that's, that seemed like a cheese. I want to go back on the side. Strut seems strong. Yeah. There's a lot of puzzles in here that I feel like would not be as difficult if the camera was, like, cooperative. I imagine that was a design choice. Because I imagine, like, some of these would not be nearly as challenging, and that's kind of, like, the whole point. I left all default cameras. I see. So you just said, let the player figure it out. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So no no custom cutscenes? It's kind of annoying that I'm not able to get that instant on morph. I don't even think it's an instant on morph. Ugh, oh, I'm getting, I'm losing a bunch of my health. Well, that's good. Kirk, welcome in. Raiders, welcome in. Uh, we have uh, really intense fight music going on for a puzzle that's taking way too long. So I am listening to some smooth jazz to keep me calm because I have previously sh been shown to have a very short uh, amount of patience and uh, having very anxiety inducing fight music was not very conducive. How were the runs today? Hopefully the good luck paid off. Uh, if you are tuning in Uh, yeah, if you're tuning in and you're looking and you're saying, oh, Thardis, the uh, Quarantine Cave looks very, very different. Uh, that's because it is. Um, this is a fan hack made by Toaster Party called Metroid Fool, in which uh, the game uh, hates us. Uh, it's very f interesting. It's more of a puzzle. Um than like a Kaizo experience, you could say. That being said, uh, it is quite difficult. And uh, yeah, so Thardis is down there and we have a bunch of bomb slots that will help us defeat Thardis, I guess. Having got to the part where I actually, um, we haven't actually done a bunch of damage yet. The weak point is revealed, which means I should be able to lock on once ever he gets behind that wall. We're just taking some time to farm up some HP because 
I don't want to lose all this progress. So we got to get over there somehow. We have these grapple points available to us. Yeah, part of this that makes it so difficult is constantly flinging rocks at us. So I'm going to try to maybe... Hmm, how to get up there? Oh, the ma major items per hour of one per hour is so dead. Yeah, that's that's not a thing. We've been here for way too long. All right, so I stand on this brick. Kill these rocks. And there's this invisible platform that fades in and out of existence. But I'm going to catch it on bad cycle here, so I need to wait one more bounce, I guess. Okay, that actually kind of looked good. So that's unfortunate. I'm waiting for some rocks to be thrown my way. Crap. Okay, so I'm going to have to bend that forwards, it looks like. Yeah, the... The, it's not so much the blinking in and out, it's the blinking in and out and not being able to see when it's blinked in. Because, of course, this being prime, you have to do everything sideways. So, I'm trying to get over there, but I have to look over here. So, it is really, uh, so yeah, this is going to be a really bad cycle because it's going to disappear. You're slamming. It's fine. And this is going to be good now. Although I totally missed the scan point, so... Whiffed that opportunity. Good luck with the food. I will be here. If you feel like returning, yeah, I... <laughs> We're not going anywhere. This will be... This will be a little while. That's not a good cycle. We'll get it on the next one. I promise we'll get it on the next one. We're going to bend it backwards, like I said. And everything will be good. Where's the lock on? It's right there. Oh, we totally missed it. Remember when I said we're going to definitely do it? I, I lied. Sorry. This one might be good. Am I just out of range? Ugh. All right, while we're down here, let's try to figure out some other things we can do. Because we've only got, what, a couple of weak points actually revealed? But like, I can do damage here now? Question mark? Can you get out of the snow, please? Like, you're literally in too deep of snow for me to hit. There's no like hidden uh, hidden one up here that I'm not looking for. Okay. Oh boy, he's rolling. Yeah, generally can't tell if I'm like supposed to hit Thardis right now. But yes, if you are wondering how the entire hack has been going, you can just simply look at the timer and acknowledge that I've been playing this hack for over 12 and a half hours almost. And we have about 20% of items collected? Oh, okay, well, we're able to hit there. A 20? Oh my god, you're so, you're so nice to me. Thank you, Rock. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, what else do we got? We have these grapple points we haven't used yet. We hit two of four of the... Um, what are they called? These... Uh, weak points. These bomb slots that we've found around. We know a third one's over there, but I honestly haven't seen a fourth one. I can't tell if that's... Because I'm blind, or 
what. But we know we gotta get over there. Can I? I can scan onto those from farther away, it seems. That's gonna disappear. Yeah, I didn't even get a dash there. It's unfortunate. Uh, another thing to consider while I do this very hard hack is I'm actually not that good at this game. Despite what all the trick videos that I've recorded might tell you, I'm actually just an average player who has free time on his hands to record things. See, so it goes, like, the thing is, and there's no consistent uh, cycle. Like, it's not like every time I'm out, it's at the good point, which would be rather nice. Okay, that this is it. Shit, that was it, but I didn't get over there. Oh boy. Yeah, I've been thinking about uh, doing uh, segmented runs after this for like um, any percent or one hundred percent, just because I I tried. I've gotten any percent t record or time. I don't have a record. It's my personal record, <laughs> I guess. Um, I tried 100% one time and ended up hot dogging two items, finishing with a lovely 98%. So I thought to actually like get better memorization with the route, I might try segmented. And if I'm trying segmented, I might end up doing 21%. The problem is. I don't know how to do complex bomb jumps. So. That's kind of an issue. I'm sorry for those folks that are joining us and are confused about why we're spending so long here. Uh, you'll just have to take my word for it that this is, uh, this is difficult. Starting to get a little bit motion sick from all the forwards and backwards. Oh! Oh! Shit, there it is! Told ya, see? I'm actually really good at this game. Remember when I said a moment ago I'm not actually this that good at this game? I lied, and that was just a bait because I'm really good at this game. Well, now what? Oh, oh, I see it. I see it over there. But how do I get onto those? I foresee a problem in that if I get... If I don't make it... And I fall, do I have to do this dash again? Or can I make it to like any of these three grapple points afterwards? I wonder if I can get back up here and then, like, dash off of it. Oh, I wonder if maybe that's... I wonder if you're supposed to climb this and then just unmorph onto this thing so that you can dash to, like, this point. Hmm. Questions for the future. My first concern is getting this grapple point. Oh, and we're gone. Okay. Well, time to try the next thing. The music is really, really quieted down. Okay. Okay. So we can make it, but there's something. I'm gonna crank the volume a little, a little smidge. Uh, 
Let's see, welcome in. Okay. So that ice is in the way. Can I... Do that, yes. Oh, what? Did he hit me with a rock? What a butthole. But we've basically got this now, so like, we are pretty close. Just uh, bear with me here through these final couple minutes. I'm worried about boat hitting my back against the, uh, the wall. <laughs> I let go way too early there. That one's totally on me. Those are now that I'm pretty much done with this section. Can it be revealed if this was like the intention, uh, an intentional strategy or was I supposed to like use that the entire time? Because I think dropping off the um, spider track, you're actually a little, like, you're not actually under the platform. So I got to imagine that this was, like, intentional. Ba -ba -ba. All right, let's uh, switch her back to the, the actual game. This is how you start the grapple. The spider track to the right is how you start the horizontal moving blocks puzzle. Yeah, okay, that's what I... Gotcha. Things that you didn't do intentionally is the Qmon bomb slot. I didn't do that one the intentional way, of course. I'll... So I guess now that I'm done, what <laughs> what is the strategy? And like, could I have just grappled to it, I guess? No dashing required. Did anyone else do it like I did? Or was that a is that a original strat for me? Oh, oh, I'm supposed to jump on this thing, perhaps, and then jump around? Everyone did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Tom, welcome in. You and Ted. Okay, yeah, so using using those guys. Okay. That makes sense. But, uh, yeah, that was just much more straightforward. Okay, so... Just to confirm that this is locked again. Yeah. I gotta imagine I just go back now. Definitely take a save. Thank you everyone for sticking around during the uh, jazz portion of uh, this playthrough. just saved so fast that I'm worried. I can't spider and break this or anything. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey you! Oh. Lame. <laughs> I was not expecting this. It's a fun little surprise. But where I, it doesn't matter where it goes. We're going. It's going up. Now it's going down. Okay. Uh, by the way, for anyone who's uh, 
missing parts of this and you want to go back and see me be frustrated <laughs> a lot more frustrated than i was back there that was that was cool and collected the music was settling um i do upload all these parts to youtube i am very much enjoying this playthrough and feel free to watch along uh so we just got oh it's a disabled door just kidding So I hear a pickup, and I see... Okay. So that's a thing. I do know how to cross this NSJ, so that's fine. But uh, we're gonna go this way first. Hey! Hey! That's not cool, man. That's not cool. That's a very intended path. Oh man. Getting lit up. Hey, where item? So I've lost basically all my health, which isn't very cool. Listen, I am very good at this game. Oh, nice. It's like a hole in one. Uh, the other side of that is a plasma door. All right, well, we're going to go back and take the save, because... <laughs> You've never seen that in Prime before, after, you know... 25 years of playing this game. Roughly. Oh, you're not judging? Ju judge all you want. That's fine. I said no spoilers. I didn't say no judging. There we go. Hmm. I wonder if you could pull off... Is this... Okay. We're going to test something here. Where does it spawn me if I take the save and reload? Because... When I was in Chozo Ice Temple... Um, when I was in Chozo Ice Temple, I stopped playing for the evening, and when I resumed, I was at the top of Chozo Ice Temple, and I thought I was mega mind for a second, and I was like, oh, I could just skip climbing this NSJ by just resetting. Because you spawn in the elevator in an elevator room, I'm curious where this will put me, and if I could have skipped Thardis. Technically, yes, apparently. And yeah, I do hate the button combo, apparently. I forget it. Much more interesting. What happens when you scan the thing, then walk into the elevator hologram before the dialogue comes up? Huh. Oh, the th spawn point changes after you kill Thardis. Okay. Well, there you go. Um. Because, yeah, I'm like, I imagine. It had to have been thought of, but you never know. All right, so what do you have for me? I'm gonna do this stupid thing. St stand on the rock. So there's no gimmick to that side, I guess? Okay. Ugh. 
is going to be a little painful. I haven't done this in a while, but I have done this. She is hot. That's the best way out. Bomb jumping, probably. Not just standing in the lava forever. This is fine. Look, this is just this is just practice. We've we've got progression. We can dick around for a little bit. Remember how to do this optimally. Because there's no standable there. You have to, like, get an L jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's a pain in the ass. Okay. Then it's a pain in the ass dash down there. But we're still good. Hands are starting to bother me though, so might have to stop soonish. Give her another half hour. We'll try to get to the next um, save point. People are tuning in for the content. I don't want to deprive y'all of the much needed content. Oh, by the way, uh, shout out to. Hercules bench rest for the raid. Wait for raid. There we go. I don't have commands, so I am the command. Um, Herc was playing it. Metroid Fusion for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Um, any percent in one percent, I believe, which is cool. I might look into trying it out sometime. I'm gonna fully scan off this and there's nothing you can do about it. Aha. All right, what do you have for me now? Is this gonna cause some issues? Oh no, <laughs> what is going on? Going on an adventure. Okay. Okay, so the lava's coming up and down, so I gotta be careful here. Oh, so could I just skip this all? Alright, we'll figure this out later. We'll, we can come back for this. That is dizzying. Try to conserve as much health going through here as possible. Is there anything one wants me to do in these rooms? Questions for later. Yeah, I gotta. I don't usually do hand stretches. I do like a lot of physical activity with like the gym and stuff. Uh, but stretching is not something I really incorporate, so could be something to look into. Okay, um, what the heck do I do? Is it? Is there a reason why it brought me back here? Like, 
Like I've got Use resistance bands for my fingers. Okay, I will look into that. Cause yeah, especially if I've been, I usually don't play like straight for this long. Usually it's like an hour and a half, two hours tops. Which I guess it's only been two hours, so. Which is why I've been thankful to, yeah, never have like any kind of major hand problems. Nah, I don't. I've never had any carpal tunnel problems. Uh, yeah, I play the heck out of my instruments. Oh, not this again. There we go. So we're going to leave this for now. Okay, thank you, pirate. Oh, I can get this, can't I? How did you not die? This is just a free E-Tank. Thank God. Yeah, I've been very fortunate to never have any kind of, like, ergonomic injuries. I wonder if this is in a different order. And, like, I do have a desk job and stuff, so, like... Using a computer is pretty common for me. I'm not like a crazy fast typer or anything like that. Huh? Oh my god, they're tanky. I missed the boat. Am I gonna get a Triclops ride? Figure this out. Let's not die to Triclopses, please. Is this like a gag one? And there's an actual better scan? What is this? Has this always been here? Alright, so... Is that it? Is this just boost through the lava? Odd. I feel like I missed something. What I didn't miss is this sweet, sweet E tank, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really worried about, like, missing what the. I, d I didn't even realize it's close. Like, I just. Did know off the gates, like, went back down. I wasn't noticing them moving. I'm not very observant, as I've noticed. Okay, so I have... I have Spider Ball. What does that get me? So we look back at our map. We got Geothermal Core. We could do the wraparound thing, but we don't have power bombs. Unless the item's just, like, in this room and I didn't observe it. Possibility. We got... So I haven't been to some areas in... And apparently... I'm asking myself questions, like I'm I'm trying to 
generally figure out where I'm where I'm going. Yeah, I, I don't need an answer. <laughs> this is just like thinking to myself where spider tracks are as my last progression. Dynamo? Dynamo's good. Oh! Uh, I think we figured it out. That'd be cool if that's accessible. Huh. Definitely going back to Chozo. We also haven't been there in a hot minute, so. Oh, nice. This room again. Root cave. Here, I'll take this time to do some stretches. While we get our free taxi service. I'm sorry, I think it was $5. It's not free. A man's gotta make a living. How much pain Thardis would have, or uh, Flogger would have been if we gave ourselves some nice, relaxing music? I think still painful for me. <laughs> that was a rough fight. just saved to the ship. Did we save? Yeah, we did save to the ship. Okay. Wave beam indeed, maybe. And guess what else? Not just wave beam, but soon. Teal beam. How did I do this last time? Did I dash off something last time? I could have swore I found like a little point that I used. Can just do the climb, but what's the point? I could also do this set of standables. Or I could not. I swore there was something over here. I could have swore I got up here last time and then I dashed over. Oh yeah, it was this. Cool. I 
Ice beam! Very cool. Progress. I can also do... Um, what's it called? Rune Fountain now? What? Did I let go of the lock on? Still no SJ, that is correct. Uh, what is, what do we got in here? Missiles? All right, time for this stupid trick that I don't remember how to do. Well, I kind of remember how to do it, but I remember it being ass. <laughs> I was up there. Why am I doing this? Am I stupid? It's been so long since I've just done this vanilla. Actually dumb. Huh. <sighs> Alright, well. Missile expansion acquired. Are we in? I wonder if I boost into this one, will it fling me back again? Yeah, it will. <laughs> Alright, we're on our way to Dynamo. Which means we have another chance to look at that stupid E-Tank in Watery Hall. God, I'm so happy for no poison water anymore. Not just... Not just damage, but it's just annoying how loud it is. Nice one. All right, so what are we actually doing now that we've got Ice Beam? We passed an ice door in Fendrana that we could go back to. That is the only one that's coming to mind because it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while. I want to say the game volume's quiet now, so. Let's boost it. There we go. I almost missed that joke, even though I started the joke. I thought you were just going to go on to some whole separate conversation. I was like, I don't remember this apology. All right, Dynamo, hit me up with something that's not missiles. Preferably an E-Tank. It's not gonna be an E-Tank, 
word, that's fine. We are doing well on... We're doing better on missiles. I won't say we're doing well. Why do you need E? Because, uh... You missed. You'll have to go back and watch, um... The beginning of this and see how bad labs was pirate labs was not kind to me i really want this it's so doable if i wasn't so something Uh, it is a ROM hack, not really a randomizer. So everyone's got the same stuff. It's it's like it's a it's a planned seed basically, but with like a whole bunch of extras. So if you think of like your traditional ROM hacks from other Metroid games and other franchises, uh, more similar to that. Although it does use the tools that we use. Okay, <laughs> gotcha, yeah. Okay, you're fine then. Uh, it does use the tools for um, the randomizer, uh, random prime. Oh, God. Uh, this hack though is challenging and is designed to test the player's skill. Test an advanced player skill. This isn't just like anyone should jump into this and be like, oh, I, I'll try this. Feel free. Like, don't let that stop you. But like, be warned that it's not just like, oh, it's a it's a challenge hack. This will be, I've, I've played the game before. I can do this. <laughs> you will be uh, sorely mistaken. If the timer on the side is anything to say, did my timer stop? Since when did the timer stop? When did the timer stop? Ah. Live split. I don't know how long the timer's been stopped, so it is what it is. We'll bring the timer back up. And it was 12, we'll just say 1250. We'll say 12.48. Good enough. This isn't... This is just timed for... The funniness. More than anything. No! Uh, you won't see this in presets. This is not in Randovania. This is a totally separate thing. This is this is external from Randovania. You'll you actually have to, to go grab a patch from GitHub, apply it with Random Prime specifically. You won't accidentally be playing this. Or did I totally misread that? I've seen it. Might okay. Yeah, it's wrong. Uh, no, I don't want to play this. I'm actually scared to be scared for something. Yeah, yeah. This is this is some odd stuff. Ugh. I don't want to keep trying this. <laughs> this is like attempt <laughs> day number two at trying this, so. We've gotten much better at like at least the... Now that I say it, I can't get the reposition. But that bomb jump still eludes me. I'll 
all of a sudden I've started doing something wrong. Three E-tanks though, and that's gotta be enough, right? I say to myself. Oh, all right, I give up right now. Yeah, you know, fun stuff like this. It is not part of the randomizer, but uh, I mean, you can do random enemy sizes as a chaos feature, but uh, these are all specifically made, you know, you see like extra blocks placed and stuff to make the game into a big puzzle for people who, you know, have been playing this for the past 20 years nonstop and uh, want a very new experience to challenge all their knowledge. All my time playing uh, Metroid Prime Underwater, or Submerged. Was that what it's called? Submerged? Has paid off, allowing me to know how to do those underwater bomb jumps. Too bad I lost my save. Okay, so with Ice Beam, uh, we can now go to, yeah, yeah, it's every single room is underwater. Um, I actually, I learned, um, oh, the, I was going to say the timer stopped, but I just didn't have the milliseconds on screen. Um, I learned Triclops Secret World, uh, like with the Fiery Shore one, um, underwater. I didn't spend that long in Frigate. It wasn't that bad. The, um. The episodes are up on YouTube that I did complete. Uh, I got all the way to... I think I beat Thardis or got Grapple Beam something along those lines. Hmm. There's an Ice Beam door there. I wonder if that's anything worth it. I should probably check that out. But yeah, it's, uh, it's Metroid Prime but completely underwater. Vanilla. Um, Sam and I were playing it, but uh, Sam was going to cheat and grab Gravity Suit and invalidate the whole point of the run, IMO. But that scan that I was using go before? Was there a scan here? I have bombs, what am I doing? Yeah, that's another thing that I purposely avoided because yeah what's the point of playing if you're just gonna skip the actual puzzle was my like i don't know you're just playing the game then <laughs> very cool go go play any percent but uh like climbing chozo ice temple uh yeah, there's also settings in Ranovania if you're playing, um, uh, you can look in the chaos settings for the non-logical stuff, so be careful, it's not, not logical, the game never expects rooms to be underwater, but you can change your rooms to be submerged, and uh, as a part of that, Toaster uh, made a another little mini fan hack where all the... Uh, Every room is submerged, but vanilla items, so you can pretty much do like an any percent run um, underwater, which is kind of cool. I liked, uh, I liked it. I was gonna try to go for like as hundred percent as best as I could, because like there's some things that I just could not figure out how to get when I was thinking about it, um, such as transport. X, transport access A, transport tunnel A, transport tunnel A. I'm watching a lot of echoes. Um, in Magmore, don't know how to get that without gravity suit. I guess you'd have to go out of bounds.
But yeah, it's, it's theoretically possible to, to beat the game. I just unfortunately lost my save, and I don't want to redo it all because it took me a few hours to get where I got. Um, other fan hacks that there exists, uh, Trial of Strength, of course, is a really cool one, made by Uncle Reggie, where you can play through that. It's another really good one. Um, didn't have all the tools available in this one, but uh, still really good with what was available at the time. Fun one. Go check that out. Trial of Strength. Uh, you can check out New Path, which is one that I made. That's uh, really minimal because I had no idea what I was doing at the time. Uh, I knew how to like slope jump off of the frog in Reflecting Pool and SJF, so it was pretty limited. Um, I had some interesting things in it, I guess. Doesn't take too long, so you can go check it out. Yeah, um, yeah. when everything is no grab, there's like a lot of strats that you... Because like a lot of us know how to do um, frigate without gravity. Um, don't take that as a like a... Everyone knows it. It's just like a... Because it's a thing in rando, it's very nice to be able to know. Um, but... What was I going to say? Um... Yeah, some of the things that like you never see in like regular rando without random rooms. Oh, I'm trying to think about this too. So my brain's shutting off. Okay, it's not this. There we go. I remembered. Uh, other notable fan hacks, uh, uh, on 100%, super cool, check that one out, it's another one that I worked on, um, where, I'm not, I want nothing to do with this room, uh, where you start off with 100% of your items and you have to put them back, which is kind of silly, create some soft lock risks, so you have to know how to route around them. Pretty fun, would recommend. Still haven't completed a run because I hot dogged an item. I don't know. I don't know. I know I've got one recorded, but um, I don't know how many. I know a few of the speedrunning folks uh, tried it out. I think Jay was telling me, like, Remy tried it. Tom, I don't know if you tried it. I think Justin was interested. Tried what? Uh, on hundred percent, the the one that I made. No, no worries. Um, the fan hack where you start with a hundred percent of your items and you have to return them in order to access the end of the game. It's kind of fun, kind of a goofy concept, but uh. I liked it. Um, the only thing that we couldn't solve th th there's there's two options, which is um, there's, there's there's two options for a hundred percent, which is um, you can carry the ghost wave beam through, maybe, um, and and put bombs away last. Or like after that, but um, or put bombs way before wave beam. But the the problem is is wave beam or not wave beam uh, bombs leaving burn dome because uh, so what we did as like a stopgap is um, just put a block there and that way you can do like the weird like standable that you can usually do on the second layer, but you can do it on the first. So it's a little. Putting bombs away without boost. Yeah, so like, there is a little bit that I had to modify, but it's as vanilla as possible to 
make it possible. It's fun. I liked it. It makes you think. There's some, like, random pitfalls that you can run into, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, so that seems to be a dead end. If you got spare spare time, you, I, I did post a run on YouTube if you want to just see, like, what my thought process was. We had, like, a... Sam and I did, like, a little routing for it. But not too much. Which is interesting. It's interesting enough. Um, there's an ice beam thing over here. Alright. Angie. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to try it, um, my guest, it'd be really cool if more people played it. Because it took some... I mean, I really didn't actually take that much time. <laughs> it took some time to like think about how to do it the best way. Yeah, make a run. Beat my time. So there's two doors in Fen that I can access. We missed one here. Which may just link up to here. I don't think there's anything more we need in Fen with Spider Ball. Or Ice Beam. Uh, what we... I, I can't tell you. You said you want to solve it on yourself, so... Well, solve it on your own. <laughs> I think Magmore Workstation is the play. Because I think this has to connect to either Far... Talon... Or... Far... Or Main Quarry? I see. Um, we'll go back to Root Cave. We won't save unless the uh, elevator is actually something useful. And then we'll probably call it there. If it's Main Quarry, great. If it's Gathering... No, Great Tree Hall, also fine. But uh, it's approaching the three-hour mark now, and... Gotta finish people do usually talk out loud yeah unless you want to have a telepathic conversation uh, I'm a spring ball denier so I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that That's fair. I can I can accept that take, I guess. I could have swore I saw a conversation with you though that was talking about wanting like all the quality of life back and like minimal changes to Prime. Yet you want Spring Ball. Have you been doing any more weeklies? I remember seeing you do a few. I've been uh, slacking on them recently, mainly because of this. Oh, there's a nice beam door up there. I've ever been in this room. 
And it doesn't look like I can go anywhere else. Why is there just like a random stick there? Oh, I wonder if it's like sticking out of that wall. Okay. Um... Any invisible platforms I'm not seeing? I wonder if he's got it activated so that it only appears when you've got this specific visor out. Thanks for sticking around, and yes, it's definitely late for you. It's late for me. I'm gonna get to bed right after this, so once we get the next elevator. And again, thank you everyone for the raid from sticking around. Yeah, I can just keep going. Because I don't believe that this was locked by power bombs. That didn't work as I wanted it to. I'm now going to get bullied hardcore. Yeah, no, I, I don't know, I, I did check this earlier, so like I knew that it was an ice door, and I remembered that it was being, that it was open, so yeah, like, I really haven't gotten lost, I don't think, in this hack yet. Like, finding boost, I pretty much knew that, um, uh, training chamber was in logic. Where the hell do I... There we go. And, um... Oh. I gotta allow... The bot's gotta... There we go. Where's my free power bomb? was main core, yeah. Just making sure that it was an actual elevator and not like a one-way anywhere. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't just allow it, I added it. <laughs> I added that whole sentence as a permitted term. <laughs> uh, uh, moderating channels. What the hell? Where's my save? What's all this? Why am I out of bounds? I just wanted to save and be done, but now I've got this to deal with. Yeah, okay, yes, fine. I'm in the room, I'm in Aether. Or I'm inside the box. There are boxes down below me that everyone forgets about and it's like a thing. There's like standables here? Okay, so there's the boxes. Can I just, can I just jump in? These aren't gonna kill me, are they? Okay, yeah, see? I knew the boxes were there. Everyone loves those boxes.
Nah, dude, the boxes. Obviously the boxes. Alright. Oh, my heart. We're definitely not keeping up with the one major an hour thing, but... Right, we're at 13 hours. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Actually, majors, or er, E-tanks are counted as major, I think, so... That's te technically 14. And all the artifacts that I've gotten, so... We're doing fine. Anywho, uh, I will stop the recording there. Thank you for hanging out. We will see you next mission in part six.